The Sea Caucus Board of Education voted last night five to three with one abstention to transfer embattled high school principal Robert Perguest to Clarendon Elementary School. Superintendent of Public Schools Jennifer Montesano tried to assuage the public's concerns about the transfer of Dr. Perguest along with two other principals to different schools. When I make decisions, I do not make them lightly. I think over and over, sometimes I take too much time to think about how I'm going to make decisions. And the reason that I do that is because they are important. They're not only important to myself, but I know that they're important to you as parents, they're important to our children, they're important to all the staff members and our administrators. And I appreciate every single person in this district that takes part in the success of every child that walks through our doors. So I do want you to know that I understand. I understand you have apprehension. I understand you have concerns. But please know that the decisions were not made quickly. They were, help, they were made with many discussions with our administrative team. And I will say that their talents will be assets to the buildings that they go to. Board member Louis Gielli was one of the board members who voted no to transfer Dr. Berkus as well as two other principals. Our superintendent has been in the district far too short a time to be in a position to fully evaluate the effectiveness of our principals and request these transfers. My no vote is not a reflection on the abilities and the professionalism of these principals, but based on the needless disruption within a district which already has experienced enough this past school year. I believe that these transfers are not in the best interest of our students. And Sea Caucus Mayor Michael Ginelli said it felt like a slap in the face that he was not notified ahead of time about the impending transfers of Dr. Perkess and two other principals. So when you say all this stuff, you have to wonder why when I called the superintendent and if I was any way seen you or rude or any way I treated you, I'm wrong, but, but by not getting an answer of moving the principles, I kind of took it as a slap in the face. I don't, I'm not going to tell you who you can do, I'm not going to tell you how to move people, I don't get involved in education, but I should have got a phone call because I got a million texts that I couldn't give the answers, and I'm doing this for the kids. A Sea Caucus resident wanted answers from the board surrounding the events that led to Dr. Burkess's suspension as well as his impending lawsuit against the district. Superintendent Montesano suspended indefinitely two reputable members of this community, two professionals with no explanation. Unbelievable. I want to know how it is that a superintendent who has no experience in supervision on a secondary level, after only six months in this community, um, has indefinitely suspended um, a, a principal and a, an assistant principal. I want to know how that happens. I want to know how this superintendent, having had only three and a half years of experience, in a K through eight district, Hallworth, came in here in, in six months and disrupted this whole community. I want to know how it is that now we are subject, this community is subject to a $5 million lawsuit by Dr. Burgess. I want to know how that happened. I want to know why the superintendent doesn't answer any of this. Now are you going to answer, I'm finished. Are you finished with your comments, ma'am? Yes, I am, ma'am. So, so I, can, I can respond to you uh, in this way. Um, it is often difficult, I'm sure, for you and for other members of the public to appreciate that while you can come up to the podium and members of the public can come up to the podium and speak about individuals with impunity, the board does not have the ability to do that. We must, respect the, we must respect the privacy rights of every employee in this school district. So we do not have the ability to answer your questions. We do not have the ability to speak freely about any action that the board may take about an individual. 
the board doesn't have the same right that you have to come to a public board meeting and speak about an individual. Although, as I have said to you in my opening comments, if you do that and you ultimately say something that is defamatory against an, uh, against an employee, then you may be held personally liable. So likewise, man, let me finish. So, like, so likewise, the board must be respectful of the privacy rights of our employees. So while I can appreciate that you would like to know the answers to each and every one of the questions that you have presented to me and to the board this evening, we're not at liberty to respond to those questions. Mark Boosmich reporting from Sea Caucus for Hudson County View, the eye of the community.